welcome all today in this session we are going to discuss about the page factory design pattern uh, while creating the page object model in selenium automation so first of all understand what is page object model here then i will show you everything practically okay so uh, the first thing the page object model is that whenever uh, you can say uh, whenever you are doing the selenium automation uh, page object model design pattern in selenium says that you can create a you can create a java file and in that java file you can keep the web elements locators all the web elements you can uh, keep in one java file so for example in your application if you have uh, five pages or 10 pages so every web page contains few elements so in that case you can say that you will create five java files for different pages and in every pages you are going to store the related web elements so now for example i can show you one thing also if you take the example of amazon if i take the example of amazon in case of amazon you can say this is my one page okay you can say that it is my uh, landing page so you will create a java file landing page dot java landing page dot java and in which you are going to store all the elements like customer service these link all the element you can store here now if you are going to click on gift card so you will see that this time it is opening a new page this is called another web page so for this web page you have so many locators like e uh, gift card physical gift cards brand gift card so whatever elements you are able to see for this page you should create another java file you can say that gift card dot java so you are going to keep all the locators there in the same way if you are going to the you can say uh you can say uh customer service so this is now you can see that when i click on customer service my ui is changed so ui is changed means you can say i am now uh, able to see the customer service page so all the elements which are visible here like important this bengali everything for this page we will create another uh, another separate java file and we'll keep the locator so in this way in your application the number of pa web pages you have on the basis of that you are going to write the java file and in every java file you are going to store the related web element this is called page object model here okay now you can see i can show you practically this thing so with the help of my this sample application in the sample application you can see here uh this is my you can say let's make automation easy page and here you can see that i have few fields here so i will try to create the automation using page object model and will show you that how uh, it can be achieved in selenium so for that purpose uh, first of all uh, let me show you that i have created a base test file why i have created a base test file so that i can keep my web driver here and i can write the code of open browser and the close browser here close browser in close browser i just commented the code so that it will not close the browser and you can see uh, my ui my browser properly while running the automation okay so this is the base test file in which i'm just writing the code for open browser and close browser okay now this is my selenium test file where i'm going to create a test case so i have created a test case that is called user registration page now here the question is that whenever you are going to write a test case for user registration page you need the elements you need these elements what are first name middle name last name age every field you need it so where you are going to store these web elements so for that purpose page object model says that you should create a java file so i created a file user registration page and you can see that i'm storing my elements their first name field middle name field and last name field there and the same time i'm just giving or initializing it with the uh, you can say driver dot find element so that it will find the element initialize the my first name field here so this is called page object model okay in the same way if you want you can create the getter setter also but still you can say it is called page object model now let me show you first thing that it is running or not so here you have created a user session page so in your test whenever you need uh, elements you need that first name field last name field so i created the user session page object here then using that object i'm just uh, fetching the first name field entering ram then middle name then gopal and last name Varma. in the same way you can write the test case for enter all the data age everything you can write in the same code and then you can click on the register button but i am focusing on the page object object model part so that's why i'm writing only this code so this is called page object model now the question is that what is page factory so in page factory you can see that uh page factories you can say there is a one another way to achieve the uh, page object model so page factory is it is a class which is also provided by the selenium web driver so that we can implement the page object model easily so in this uh, you can say uh, we have we have we can achieve this with the help of two things one is we have to use add the rate find by uh, id annotation and second uh, we have to use the page factory init elements you can say that is the function we have to use it 
okay so now let me show you practically that how we can achieve it and how we can change the existing page object model into the page factory here so for that purpose let me go here and i will show you this is page factory now i will show you and i will change you this user registration page repository into the page factory model how so before every above every element you have to write at the rate find by okay and in the find by whatever uh, locator you are using in your code suppose take the example here you are using id id locator so in the in here you have to write the same thing id and double code so it is a inbuilt you can say value and here you can put the value now you can say how easy it is now it means you don't need to write this code you don't need to slice in such a way now you can remove this line so this line is you can say this line is equivalent to this one so now you can say it means this line is going to uh, do the same thing whatever you are trying to achieve this one okay now for every element you have every type of attribute here now this time i'm going to use the find by and i'm going to use this by this time name okay so you have every option you can use it so this time i'm using name so name equal to okay name i'm using name equal to and i'm putting my value here this is m name so now now we don't need to write this line of code okay now we don't need to write this line of code and now let me show you this one same thing by the third one uh, let me copy it here okay and this time in the xpath we are using uh, xpath so i can use xpath here so you can say it is the inbuilt thing like you can say xpath here so this is the inbuilt value you can use according to your requirement here so and let me put this xpath here now you don't need to write this line of code so you can say i think you got this point that only page uh, factory says that instead of using this initialization you can use the annotation here but now here one more thing is needed what is needed that how this code is going to be uh, how this element is going to be sliced with this one for that purpose you have to do some things in your you can say in your this class what is the first thing is needed you have to write web driver you have to declare a local web driver also web driver driver this is my local web driver here okay this is my local web driver here i will declare a local web driver now i will create a constructor here so i will create a constructor for this class so whatever i'm doing it here this same thing you have to follow for your every page every java page which is going to work as a repository for you you have to follow the same thing here so here you can say uh, in this constructor you have to uh, you have to create a parameterized constructor which which should uh, take some driver variable so what will happen whenever you are going to slice this uh, page repository uh, you will create the object of this class and you will pass the driver whatever browser you have opened it okay and in this code uh, you can say my local variable local driver this driver this is my local driver this one and i'm in slicing with this parameter if you want to give separate name you can give any separate name also okay so uh, you can give the separate name also sometimes people confuse it so if you want i can show you b r o w s e r so you can give the name browser also in this case what is that this is the parameter and this is your local driver so i am saying that this dot driver equal to browser so you can keep any name here i have just kept the name browser so that it will make easy for you and second important thing you have to do that is called page factory you have to call a class page factory and the method is init element okay and in the init element what you have to do you have to pass one thing that is called this driver this driver you have to pass and then you have to write simply this this means you are talking about this class here and that's it so you can see that initially you have used the you can say driver dot uh, fire first name field equal to driver dot find name. you don't need to write it with the help of page factory we are using this at the rate find by and we are using this uh, page factory init element function and now you can see that it is going to work for you so now i can show you by running it whether it is working fine or not okay so you can see that i have just changed the structure in my test case what we have to do simple because whenever you are going to create this class object you have to pass the browser or driver here so i will do one thing here in my this one i'm going to pass the driver d r i v e r okay so that driver i'm getting so what is this driver so you can see here i'm passing this driver which is base test so i'm passing this driver which is available in the driver class this driver i have got in my test with the help of extending base test so this driver i'm passing here and now you can say when it will go to this page whenever it will go to the this page it will call the constructor and 
page factory will initialize every element every element with the help of this find the rate, at the rate find by and it will work fine so now let me show you it is working fine or not so right click and run as test ng test and you see that so you can see here let me run it and you can see here it is running fine ram kopal parma so in this way, you can say you can uh, create your uh, every every page repository or every repository file for every web page in such a way. Uh, so it is uh, very easy to maintain. It is very easy to understand. So this is called your you can say page factory in your page object model here. OK, so now you can say that uh, if you have any type of uh, if you have any type of doubt, you can put in the comment of this video. If you like the video, you can click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it. Thank you.